All right, good morning, traders. Can you guys uh, hear me and see my screen? Uh, maybe type in the uh, uh, the advanced webinar chat there. Loud and clear, excellent. Okay, got it. Um, all right, guys. Well, uh, let's uh, we'll get started here. And uh, uh, this is our our second week. You know, we're just kind of trying this out yet again. Um, no basic webinars uh, this week. Uh, which we do Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, typically. Uh, we're just going to do the advanced webinars, uh, and this is for our subscribers to Global Plus. Uh, we're going to make it free and open all just again this week. Uh, Scott Pulsini and J Trader will be in on Wednesday and Thursday, so uh, uh, you will get that for free as well. Uh, but uh, And we'll do the live analysis here. So 10 a.m. to about 11, uh, we'll go through the live market and... Uh, uh, just go through, uh, you know, what's uh, what's happening in the order flow. Read it and uh, put the pieces together here. Uh, so uh, and, and then take it from there, right? So uh, it's all forward-looking uh, analysis. This is what we do uh, all the time. This is the kind of education that we offer. Uh, forward-looking analysis. So we read the current market uh, and we give insight to where we think price is going to go. The reason we can do this is very simply because order flow. Uh, offers you that uh, it gives you an edge there by being able to read the order flow uh, so if you look at your candlestick pattern or if you look at your Fibonacci's or you look at you know your pattern or even your uh, volume profile uh, the detail is going to be in the order flow that's going to give you the insight to those patterns either following through or breaking uh, and that's the value we, we can provide here so uh, and that's why we do it Right. So anyway, let me let me jump in and go through some stuff here. General disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so uh, you know what? I want to start off with one thing here. Uh, pretty cool to see. Uh, this was from a tweet uh, that we sent out last week, December 21st. So it was on the 20th, I believe. Let me take a look here. Yeah, it was It was on Monday, the 20th, that it, that we saw this order flow phenomenon happen. Um, 34,000 iceberg orders uh, uh, filled here in the S&P E-mini. All right. Uh, at this low, as you can see, it is around, uh, uh, what, 60, or I'm sorry, 45.20, okay, the move into it down here, just unbelievable amount of iceberg uh, orders, uh, this is not common, right, we, and we, we went through this webinar here, let me show you where you can find that webinar if you're interested, go to our YouTube page, scroll down a little bit, it's under selected webinars, it's right here, Okay, on the, on the 20th. So uh, if you're interested in that, watch it. Let me just show you, I want to take a bigger step back and take a look at it here. What that led to, okay, it led to this. This is a daily chart. We were talking about that the 20th is right here. We were talking about this, uh, all these icebergs below this swing right here. We're at all-time highs now. Because this, this was a huge rally. And it was due to what we saw there. So you might want to check it out. Uh, it's uh, some pretty cool stuff to take a look at and uh, and put those pieces together uh, by understanding uh, a lot of the uh, icebergs uh, and the um, uh, uh, limit uh, order book on the uh, on the bid getting filled in those areas. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, take a look. All right, so let's take a look here. We're going to look at the S and P E mini. Uh, and uh, unless there's something else you guys want to look at, um, you know, text me in the channel there, uh, and we'll do that. Uh, but uh, yeah, in fact, let me uh, get to the streaming here and pop this out. So you guys, you know, I don't want to see you guys don't want to see that, but I want to pop it out. Okay, hold on just a minute. All right, good. All right, well, you're not seeing much uh, th this this week, of course. I mean, you know, between 
you know christmas and uh, and new year's uh, you know we're not really expecting much but we're at all-time highs here right so uh you know uh go go figure uh uh anyway uh s p here as you guys can see breaking out uh and um uh here's 930 cash open boom right to the upside into high liquidity go sideways for a little bit here again uh, high liquidity and yet again uh, looking for high liquidity here at the figure 4750 and then there's also some up here at 4752 or so uh, yeah looking forward to transact so looking for more buyers in here we already see you know who's in control buyers who's in control again buyers not bad on the sell side here not bad uh, but uh, again more buyers than sellers clearly All right so uh, starting to kind of maybe slow down a little bit here uh, and maybe get some back and forth, but uh, let's just uh, start to mark up um, some market structure in here uh, and start to understand where price might be going next. Okay, so uh, yeah, we can look at some trend lines like this or even something like that uh, and start to understand uh, maybe a price channel in here, uh, which just means value, right? When we start to look at trend lines, um, you know what we're talking about is it's no different than when you're looking at horizontal uh, back and forth and you know your market your uh, volume profile or your market profile uh, like all of this back and forth between this narrow range between 30 and, and 35 right here well you, here's your profile right big single distribution um, you can see there's a slant to it though right um, uh, up to uh, the ketosis up, up up here around this 33 area here more trading up there than there is down below okay so uh you you can uh, start to understand uh due to more trading up at that area why this might occur when there's a little more volatility uh in the in the move move higher here okay so uh, uh you know once we start to see that charge come in that kind of fits the analysis of the pre-market in here okay so you'd look for that uh, and you'd look for these areas to be uh, where price would go to test it because that's where the sellers are, right? So we're looking at the same thing in here. Uh, where are the buyers and where are the sellers? Okay, well, we see some new buying coming in here uh, on the bid at, at this 45 area. Uh, and uh, sellers are up at these three areas here, okay? Right up here at um, 48 and a half or so, uh, 50 and then up here around uh, 51 and a half or so okay so yeah we might get a pull back into 45 even a little bit lower uh, but we are in an uptrend uh, and we're looking for that to continue until we see something different okay there's more buyers in here than there are sellers so uh, uh, looking for maybe potential opportunities on pullbacks uh, and just reading the order flow in general all right so uh, and that's what we'll do uh, okay, Gore FX. You want to take a look at um, uh, the uh, gold. Uh, are you looking at the uh, February February contract? That's what I've got up. Let me know. Yeah, I mean it's going up here uh, and. Um, Yes, it's not not an easy read in here on this on gold. I mean, like, yeah, I'd look for it to go higher here, but I start starting to see some selling in some of these areas here. So it's, it, you know, also in here some of the selling, uh, but uh, we're we're making higher highs uh, and uh, you know looking for um, this to continue until we see something different. Uh, what's the reaction to some of that liquidity in here? Uh, some coming in at eight ten. I'd like to see it higher than that. Uh, would like to see more buyers here and then we can get a nice little kind of blip up into like uh, uh, 812, 813 and maybe 815. Okay. So anyway, look, looks kind of similar to the S&P. Uh, if we start to just kind of uh, mark up some zones in here, uh, what uh, what this looks like. Oh, good morning, Alan. Um, yeah, so uh, anyway, uh, that's what I see in gold at the moment. Okay, so nothing, nothing too special. Uh, let's jump back to that S and P. Okay, see some a little bit of selling coming at the moment, but uh, still, still bullish here. Still bullish. 
in fact these are these are areas where you, you we look for the battle here uh are we going to continue and maybe go exponential in here okay we'd be looking at something like this right uh, or even something like this here uh, and uh uh, we'd be looking for buyers right here, right in here, to come back in and to support this. Okay, and they are uh, right now. You can see them. And this is our double bottom pattern here. We're not out of the woods yet, but this is the pattern. Look, sellers, retest, lack of sellers. Buyers start to come in. All right. So based on that, if we can get up here to 48 and a half and get, and, and maybe we see some more green dots in here. Maybe, maybe they can give a little bit of push uh, with higher liquidity on the bid up at a higher level. And then we see the reaction is buyers. We'd be looking for 47.50 to trade. Okay, So we're not out of the woods yet because we need to see those buyers up here. right? So uh, And you can see we're just rotating back down and we're right back down here again at that little low here. Buyers are still, still supporting it though. Now we have to be careful with this though. They need to buy up here. We don't. The buying here is... is uh, uh, it's good. It'll get it back up to 48 and a half, but we need to see the buying up at 48 and a half. That's where um, uh, the story really comes to, uh, uh, to light. Uh, if we get enough here, they should be able to break it back up into four, uh, 50 here. Okay. So these are the things we look for in the auction. We look for the uh, the the bid here to show a little more strength in here uh, as well. And we're not getting that. See, they're coming a little on the offer there. Okay, are we getting lots of sellers down here? Not yet, not yet, right? If we do, then yeah, we have the potential now to break that and head down into uh, maybe 45 down here, this liquidity. Okay, here come our buyers now. See, see how much better this looks? Okay, we gotta get them up here though. Yeah, all right, they should be able to hit 50. Looking for it. Okay, and if they get enough buyers at 50, we should, we should be able to hit 51 and a half. Okay, not a whole lot of buying up here. We wanna see these kinds of dots here, but up here. This is a really big point, actually. I should I should um, cover this here. Very very important. Uh, the, you've got to see the buyer pressure pressure at the at the top edge here, right? Even on really big moves, uh, you know, like multiple days, you start to see it kind of peter out up here. Um, that's not a good thing. You 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 really need to get the buyers up here. Okay, this is looking better here. We did get a little bit more in here, and then we can get. We should be able to get that move into 50 here. Yeah, they should be able to upend those little sellers right there. All right, looking for a little stop run as well, right up into 50, and uh, maybe we can get to 51 and a half as well. Ah, okay. Uh, my streaming here. All right, you know what? I may. I may. Um, uh, you say you said the stream is not uh, good quality in here. No, it should be. It should be. I'm I'm streaming at five frames per second. Okay, so you know it's not going to be as smooth, um, but the the quality should be higher. Okay, the readability should be better. Well, yeah, we we went back and forth and tested this a bunch of times. So and that's what we came up with. Uh, that you have that selection when you when you start. It says, do you want better readability or do you want like you know more frames per second? All right. Okay. Well, we traded to 50 as you guys can see, and it's just kind of back and forth. Really not seeing a whole lot here. Um, uh, you know, when you get these kinds of like. Uh, grinding moves like this uh you know there's just not a whole lot of uh um uh action up up at the up at the top uh top edge here and it just we just get and these can be kind of tricky um to trade but uh the the way that uh, we have found over time 
uh, is is to look at these in here uh, as uh, this grinding move and just stay with it until you see something different you stay with it and that can be kind of challenging because we all want the quick money uh, you know look for the quick move uh, and then get out and call it a day uh, whereas these moves like you know it's still doing what we think or you know what looks bullish here so you just stay with it uh, until you see something different Yeah, we should have nitro as well, but I, um, you know, I need to double check on that. I, I'm not sure how that actually works. If it's between just one user or it should be for this channel, um, I, I don't know. I don't quite understand it. Sometimes I jump on another machine and and uh, it doesn't. It's it's asking if you want to upgrade to nitro. Okay, well they took those guys on at 50. Let's just zoom into that area and check it out here. Okay, uh, totally absorbed. This is absorption. This is uh, an example of it. Trading right into it. You can see the transactions could not trade through it. So there's still 308 contracts after uh, it traded through or into, uh, you know, these 482. There's even more than that in here, 485, uh, even probably more than that somewhere around there uh, just shy of 500 it traded and there's 300 left okay so they're still in there getting interesting look at this uh, someone lowered their liquidity in here okay so they're front running even more liquidity a little bit above it as well now and then look at that behind it now too right trying to push it through so they want to you know looks like a little bit of a, a potential spoof here trying to get price to come up into 50. A very short term high liquidity all of a sudden pops into the order book i would imagine we got a couple different players in here battling uh someone came came in here front ran also added liquidity here and the other player said no i really want to get filled at 50. So I, it looks like they're going to win the battle. So I'm still looking for 50 to transact. Now, interesting thing about the liquidity at this price level here uh, is uh, if you see the sellers take it on, okay, that's where that bigger player kind of kind of gets punched in the nose, uh, and uh, you know he's not going to get filled at 50, right? See, so see how they are taking them on here. They they are transacting into there okay again totally absorbed at this point we'll see if they um, trade into it and through it again still absorbed there we go there's there's the sellers okay so we're finding some sellers here okay and then here's the reaction to that okay buyers quickly come in so we should be able to trade into and through 50 here looking for it they're still buying pressure even after that Hmm. Okay, here we go again. All right. So, yeah, there's still buying pressure in here. There they go. There's 50. I want to see them trade into and through this. I want to see 51 and a half trade. So, not not just a 50. These sellers will have to flip out. We should get our stop run above it. Okay, and you know I'm assuming that right that uh, and we can see the stop run just occurred. We see it even here down in this area here. Uh, but what we're talking about is um, uh, these sellers in here. Likely the weaker hands once it starts to go higher here, you know they're going to get stopped out. Now it might be sellers in here or whatever doesn't doesn't really matter. Uh, we, we know that this is a stop run though. Okay right in through here now it's not a whole lot 
but it, it's some. Uh, let's see, it's 2117, and this is, uh, yeah, so like 117 or, or so, okay? Okay, so rotating back up, this is the move we're looking for. I thought we'd get it right here at the same moment. It 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 plowed through here. I thought it'd go right up to 51. It had to reverse, a, rotate again, and then come back up here. So what does that tell us about this price action in here? Right? I mean, we would assume that th they should be able to trade into and through and pop right up into 51 and a half right away. So we're still finding some selling in here. So this is that grinding kind of move that we were just talking about. Uh, this is looking much better though on the buy side now. Okay, we just traded into 51 and a half. Okay, and that was the anticipated move here uh, based on what we saw in the order flow. So a little bit of a hiccup in here, some sellers starting to come in a little bit, but the reaction was um, more buyers. Okay, in here was a little, maybe a little dicey in here. They did take them on. And then it was kind of like, hmm, all right, you know, are these, what's going to be the reaction here? And we didn't quite know. Uh, we had a little bit of selling below it. We started to see the buyers come back up, trade into 50. This is where we, we thought, you know, we, we got it here, looking for 51 and a half uh, due to the buying pressure in here. Okay. Hope that makes sense. All right, still looking to go higher here, 52. Still seeing the pressure in here. There we go, there's 52. Let's see if they can reach 54. Now we're at all time highs, right? Let's take a look at the, the daily chart here. Yep. Oh, heck, we can look at, maybe we'll look at not a daily, we'll look at a weekly. And we'll go back a year. Is that right? This just doesn't look right. Um, no, last week we, f I guess for the week, I guess we did trade trade down, right? I, I did, nah, this can't be right. This does not look correct. Um, Huh. All right. Well, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe so. Uh, anyway, we're above it. Uh, we're above these, these candles here. Uh, so we could get also a nice, nice breakout even on this weekly here, uh, and continuation higher. Yeah. Fascinating thing here is the, uh, uh, like like we we're saying as we started here, this move down into this uh, this area here. Go go back and watch the 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 uh, webinar recording. Okay, we were looking for the move below this swing here, uh, and seeing all that absorption. But we did say like uh, you know it was a zone between this swing and also this swing down here. Uh, could it even come down even further down into this area here? But uh, uh, due to that, all of that massive absorption on the day of the 20th, boy, we're looking for something to unfold to the upside. Uh, it was just un unbelievable. I, I thought we'd probably get down into here, to be honest, uh, and then see the move back up. But we didn't. It just came into here, massive icebergs, uh, and then you can see the result, all-time highs here. Look at these huge candles. One, two, three, four. Uh, and that day was uh, it ended up as a rally as well, um, but uh, uh, anyway, the uh, um, for sure de definitely a four-day rally, two all-time highs. All right, so yeah, almost to 54 as well. We're kind of looking for that to unfold, so uh, uh, just shy of it. They're on the bid at 50 now. Okay, so they're supporting it. They were, it was resistance here at 50. Now they're on the bid. Now we're going to get a pullback here. Uh, and uh, 50 is the likely area to go uh, due to the liquidity in there. Okay, could come even lower. 
uh, 49 in here, something like that. But you guys can see what's going on. We're still holding the trend. Okay, we're still holding the channel. And we're just looking for likely areas for price to maybe to revisit uh, as we, you know, maybe run out of some buying pressure, see some sellers kind of, or some profit taking as well, kind of dribble down into these areas of support. All right, guys, you know what? I, you know, I, we haven't done this exercise. This is kind of slow day today. Um, I mean, all time highs, but uh, we're not we're not seeing like radical action. Um, uh, this is a pretty nice little move in here. OK, from uh, 49 or 50 on up. Okay, starting to hit one of our trend lines, which actually needs to be adjusted. Yeah, looks good. In fact, let's get rid of some of these other ones. Okay, just drawing some some lines in here, just trying to kind of get some some sort of structure on this here. All right. Well, anyway, let's let's uh, we're going to zoom in here and go at, like kind of tick per tick almost, uh, since uh, uh, you know we're we're actually getting a kind of nice move, nice breakout. But uh, uh, I, we haven't done this exercise in a long time, and I, I thought maybe we'd we'd give this a shot uh, and see what you guys think. Okay, yeah, 40, uh, 54 here looks great. Let's see the trade into it. It's only a couple ticks away. There it is. What about a higher time frame here? 60, I guess, looks pretty good. Nice move. Lots of buying coming in, guys. Another stop run. Still strong. Okay, now what we're going to watch, though, is this liquidity here, and if sellers take them on. So kind of exhaustion is what we're looking for on the buy side. Okay, a lack of buying up here. And they're not. It's still still buying coming in, right? So we just stay with the trend. Stay with that grinding move here, as we mentioned earlier. It's, it's turning into a really nice move here. Just stick with the trade. Or stick with the trend, I should say. Beautiful, beautiful moves. Okay, up at 57 and a half. Now we had a line up here. Let's take a look at that and kind of revisit it. Why? Yeah, I don't know. I'm still just kind of looking at this area here and the order flow around it. Okay, maybe a little bit of profit taking, maybe a pullback, 55, 56, something like that. Okay, but that liquidity up here at 60 is kind of overall general target. Okay, they just took these guys on at 56 and three quarters. 
and just a tick below it here. All right, and let's see if we get some more sellers in here. Yeah, they should be able to drop it back down to 55 or 54 and a quarter here. It's already there. That was quick. Okay, there's our 54 and a quarter. All right, so uh, yeah, our sellers came in. You can see that we saw that initiate here, okay? When it traded into this liquidity here, we saw, this is where we found the sellers, right? We talked about it earlier uh, for the, these these guys to kind of get their eyes uh, blackened or nose bloodied. Uh, and then uh, here's the, the, you know, the reaction last time was, was buyers above it. At this time, there were sellers below it. So then we're looking for that continuation down to this liquidity here at 54, uh, like we're covering. Any, any questions on that? Understanding the order flow within in this little area in here. Okay, it was a pretty quick move uh, to the downside. All right, well, let's, let's read the uh, order flow in here then. Look at the exhaustion in here on the sell side. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, test down here. Finding buyers up here, no sellers here. There's no question why we would think that price would come back up into these areas here. Okay, so now we're back up to where? Where this dropped from or where this test took place here. So this is going to be the battleground here that we're going to look for to see what, what unfolds. Okay, back up into this area here. Now, when you see something, I'm sorry, I, I kind of covered this quickly or in very late uh, and a little bit of hindsight, you know, uh, but uh, was uh, kind of looking at something else. Um, the uh, uh, This is not what you want to see if sellers are going to continue down here. Right. This is a this is actually a really good example. OK, sellers here. OK, exhaustion on buy side here, here and here. Sellers. Sellers drop it, okay. Now, the selling down here, 100, no, it's even less than that. 35 contracts down here, that's it. One tick higher, 707, okay, both buying and selling. One tick higher, okay, 420, but mostly buying. Okay, another tick higher here, only 59 at that point, but see how it's building in here? And then we're making a little higher highs in here. Okay, look at the volume in here. We come back down and we start to see that exhaustion in these lower, um, these this low here. And they're not able to break it either. It stays at this, the best bid is just down there and that's it. Look up here. Okay, now I know this is only three ticks. But with the S&P, you can actually uh, kind of get away with that because <laughs> you don't get a lot of point moves a lot of times in the S&P. Um, it's the same on any market, though. Uh, you start to see more buying up here. Well, how does that relate to, for example, your volume profile? Okay, Here it is right here. Look at the skew in the profile. 15, we said it was 35. So let's try to get that data in there. 
Let me take that one trade out. That'll make a difference. Okay, so we have 35 down here. Okay, we have 638 here. We have 420 up here. There's our skew. Okay, in the volume, not in the, not in the order book, but in the volume. All right, now let's put some more pieces together here. Okay, because this is good stuff. Uh, this is, you can do this on the S and P and the bonds in you know slower slower moving markets. Um, uh, but um, it's the same on on faster moving markets too, more volatile markets. It's just uh, uh, less or more points in those more volatile markets. Okay, so now we have a skew um, in the volume within this range of this three tick four tick range here. Uh, and then uh, we also can see in the order book, well, they're coming in here with liquidity, a little bit lower here. Uh, and then they start to pull some of that. Buyers are coming in at a higher area here. And we also see a skew in the order book now, too. Okay, there's more on, on the bid at these higher areas here, a couple ticks higher. Right? So at this point here, we know there's some buying pressure to go in in this very small range. We know there's some buying pressure in here. And we know that they're on the bid down here, supporting it. So we're looking for more volume to come in here on that buy side and lift it. And where where will we think it might go? Uh, it will break the range here and go four or five ticks higher up into this liquidity up here around 56. 55 and three quarters, 56, maybe 56 and a half. If it's strong enough, 57. Okay. But we're just looking for this initial move up into these areas here, and then we'll reassess at that point. Okay, did we get it? We should. Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice move up into that. Okay, even up into 56 and a half. Okay, so now I, I, would, I would suggest and recommend uh, you guys uh, go back uh, and use uh, this kind of analysis in replay mode. Uh, record your data. Okay, and go back and, and look at these things and start to understand the order flow within these areas here. Okay, if you're a volume profile trader, great. Put your profile in here. Look at it. Uh, start to understand it. You understand that volume profile, you're looking for a, a skew at the top edge, a weak top, which means that it's about to break, which means there's more buyers at the high. You get your uh, P-shaped volume profile, and then you're looking for this kind of move to unfold. Okay, and it did. All right, this is, a, this is a pretty good example here. All right, and we're looking for it to trade up to the battleground up in here uh, as well. We talked about that. Okay, and we, we got a little bit of a slowdown here. Okay, we're still grinding higher though. Still grinding higher. Looking for 60 overall here. Any questions on this? Kind of quiet in the questions today. Okay, so we just made a higher high ever so slightly here. Okay, now this is getting interesting up here. We're still in this uptrend. We're still grinding higher, and we're still thinking we're going we're going higher. Okay, well, we're starting to note in the in the order flow though. This was quite a bit of selling, and we're just, we made a slightly higher high here, one tick, and that was it. Okay, again, we need to see buyers up here, green dots, market buy orders up at the high at 58, 58 and a quarter. Okay, and we're, we're looking for, in a trend, we're always looking for, you know, uh, we're reading the strength in the, of the breakout here. This breakout was only by one tick. Okay, so now I see the selling coming in now. So they're going to go for 55 here. Maybe maybe uh, below this swing here as well. Maybe down to about uh, this liquidity in here, 
53 and a half. Okay, it's breaking a trend line now as well. Okay, now it might be a false breakout. Okay, we don't know yet. Or false breakdown. All right, some sellers at the bottom edge here. They should be able to drop it into 55 and maybe our 53 and a half here. Let's see. Looking for them. See how this is different than before? Okay, so I would give the, the nod here, the edge to the this 55 here trading. Okay, it might not. All right, we're still in an uptrend, but uh, uh, and it's, it's still making a higher low in here, but I'm looking for, I'm seeing more sellers in here, so I'm just thinking that they'll likely push it and, and uh, uh, try to discover lower prices here. Okay, that, that what just unfolded is the opposite. Um, some selling here. We got we got our retest. Okay, and we don't see sellers again. Right, because of this here, we're looking for sellers again here. We didn't get them. Right, so this makes sense that buyers come in on the other side here. You know, I know it can be easy to get trapped in here. Uh, in these kinds of moves here, uh, but uh, this is this is where you, you you really have to be on your toes and, and watch it because uh, you get on the other side here. Watch, there'll be a stop run above this swing here, okay, and that's when we'll hit sixty. It's like advertising in here comes back. There's there's no uh, 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 no selling here. A buyer snatch it away really quickly. Try to move away from this area really quickly. All right, let's see if we get our stop run now to the upside, looking for these buyers in here. And and like a this this should be more of a quick move here because we got some sellers in here. And I, I would I would assume or anticipate a um, a spike here in the stops. Okay, right up into 60. All right, let's let's read the order flow. Okay, we're not getting our buyers up here yet at all. Okay, we're getting sellers. In fact, lack of buying, see the selling coming in here? Okay, but now we're going to look at the structure here. Did we break this structure? No. Did we break below 50, 57 here? No. Okay, now we can get our buyers here, and we got even a better stop run to the upside here. We should because we got more sellers in here. Uh, those are stops as well, though. So, and let's see if we can get more buyers up here again. Around 58 and a quarter. Okay, see these guys at 58 and a half getting out of the way when they, when price comes up. So we're looking for our buyers here. And then the stream up into 60 here. Let's see, here they come. A little little bit of uh, more liquidity on the on the offer. I'd like to see it a little bit higher here. Okay, 
we did get a stop run here. I, I was looking for it to stream right up into 60. It's only one tick. How many is this here? It went from uh, 34, 12 up to, uh, yeah, so not that much. Not that much. I, I wanted to see bigger than that. All right. Well, I don't think we're going to get it here. It looks like our sellers are coming in. So uh, th we're getting sellers down here at 57. Here's our exhaustion again here and here. Okay. And there's the quick move. Okay. So down into... Now this is hard to um, always look for this here. There's our stop run as well. Um, however, I was just going over some of the clues to give insight to this, this move here. Uh, and uh, it, it's in here. Okay, so um, the uh, we're looking for our buyers up here. Okay, we're still in an uptrend. Looking for our buyers at the top edge here. Here's our lack of buying here. Here, lower high lack of buying again. Starting to find sellers down here. Okay, yes, we are looking for this this uh, move back down into our 54 um uh, area or this liquidity down here all right now it just happens that it, it it happened really quickly here okay but anyway these were the clues to it uh, in this little area in here okay so any questions on that I mean because I mean it's the same read um, of like, okay, well, you know, this is starting to look pretty good. Some buying up here, okay. Well, here's our lack of buying. Here's a little bit of selling. Again, lack of buying, even can't even make it a, a tick higher, and then selling in here. Okay, th this is at 57, right? We talked about that. 57, that's where we're looking for it. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, you know, we come back up here, it exhausts again at 58. Nothing's trading up there um, and um, nothing at all, right? And then you see the selling coming in. Now, this is one event uh, and uh, likely seller just dropping, dumping. Okay, quite a bit. 90, 128, 138, 140. There's going to be stops in here as well. And any of the stops in any of these areas in here, they're going to get filled down at the bottom of the range here. And let's just turn on our, our stops um, on chart here. And there they are. Okay, 132 are stops. Where do they get filled? At the bottom tick. Why? Because this the this order unfolds first, and that is someone coming in and just hitting market sell, with you know hundreds, you know maybe up to like a thousand, right? And they know they're going to trigger some stops, and those stops they get filled at the bottom here. Okay, it doesn't mean that they're all at this level here. It means they were in here, but this un, this event unfolded first, stops get filled. Lastly, then best bid and offer update. And there's some icebergs in here as well. So funny enough. And they got filled at this area here. They get did they get completely filled? I think so. I think so. That's what it looks like. Fifty. All right, let's go back to the current market. Okay, drifting right back up again. Okay, yeah, let's see these buyers go right to 60 here. And we should get another, this should be a quick move. It should be after this kind of shakeout stop run. Uh, looking for those buyers to try to, not looking for exhaustion. So let's zoom in here. Okay, buying looks pretty good. I like it. 58 and a half is where we need to see a little bit more. Exhaustion on the sell side. No, not exhaustion now. Okay, buyers. All right, so let's see if we get our buyers here. No, no buyers here. Do we get sellers here? Let's see. 
a little bit. All right, then sellers should be able to drop it back down to the bottom of the range here, maybe 56. Let's see. Not a lot of sellers in here. Not a lot. Anyway, this is these kinds of little moves in here, like we're giving an insight to the move, but it, it's really like, you know, we're looking for something a little more probable. Some of these are more probable. And this one is not. Because of, of the lack of selling in here. There's some exhaustion on the sell side. Let's see if we do we get buyers here. A little bit. Let's see if we can get buyers at 57 and a half. If we do, they should be able to move it back up to 58 and a half. Here they come. Okay, one more retest up here, a little more buying up here at 57 and three quarters, and we should get the move up into 58 and a half, maybe 59. Okay, buyers, let's see. Got exhaustion instead right here. Yeah, and sellers down here, actually. So nothing shaking. All right, do we get our buyers again up here? Let's see. Looking for them. Yep. All right, they should be able to move it. 58 and a half. Let's see. We're breaking, we're breaking and finding more buyers at a higher area here. Okay, we got some uh, higher liquidity on the on the bid here, up at 56 and three quarters. Running into an iceberg at the same time though. That makes things a little more complex. Okay, they need to tr they need to trade through that iceberg, which is still engaged here. Ninety six have traded so far. Yeah, the iceberg kind of put the kibosh on it here. Let's see if these buyers can take them on though and trade through them. He wants to get filled, so he's still in the book. Or his iceberg is still there. Uh, there we go. So it was, it was 100 lot uh, right on the dot, you can see. So he got filled. So that, that iceberg, um, you know, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're short. Or they maybe they took profit. doesn't matter. We just know that the 100... Um, 100 lots of hidden orders got filled up there. All right, so are you guys, uh, do, you, do you like this kind of, uh, you know, uh, more kind of uh, myopic view, you know, zoomed in, looking at the, uh, the auctions on these very small time frames? Or do you guys like prefer kind of like a bigger picture and then mo more symbols, looking at different symbols? Okay, trade the volume. You, 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 you like this kind of uh, smaller auction, zoomed in like this? Guys, you can reply in the, uh, it's in the same, it's just a couple of uh, uh, trading rooms above. Uh, it's an advanced webinar with the hashtag in front of it. Yeah. Okay, McMaster and uh, Harrier, you, you like the zoomed in view. Interesting, okay. 
going through these auctions on very, very small or low time frames. Okay. Wow. Okay, you guys really like this. All right. That's good to know. I mean, uh, uh, you know, we we do that. We've been doing this for years, and then uh, we'd get we'd get this feedback of like, that's great, but like you can only use Bookmap on lower time frames. You know, what about higher time frames? So, yeah, you can use it on higher time frames. I mean, I, I, I can't reiterate like enough. Like uh, this is pretty amazing stuff to see uh, those uh, 34,000 uh, icebergs on the higher time frame. This led to all time high move. Uh, let, let's see, what was this from 4520 on up to uh, 4750? Okay, so, you know, 250 points. This is a 250 point move from that iceberg. That's amazing. Or that day on the 20th, all those icebergs filled. I'm gonna talk about higher time frame moves. Okay, yeah, all right, McMaster, you like it. You like it because uh, uh, it, it, it'll show you the here and now. Okay. Well, we're back up again here, and we're seeing volume again trading up here. They're pulling up here at 59. Uh, they're adding on the bid here. We're looking for a little more to trade here at 58 and a quarter, and we should get the hit, we should get the move into 59 here. That's what I'm looking for, and then 60. Okay, again, starting to understand your volume profile. See, look at your P shaped here, right? Now we need to see. This is why you need to see it up here, though, right? For them to break this, you got to see the volume up here, and it has to be buy volume up here. Doesn't I should take that back? Doesn't have to be uh, buy volume up here, but that's really what we're looking for. It's it's much easier read. We're just looking for action up here, uh, to be honest, and then uh, uh, and then we're looking for buyers to try to take this higher, and this will turn into this kind of P shaped will turn into a single distribution right or I'm sorry it will actually what will happen is this will turn into one profile and there'll be another bump up here another profile because it'll it'll trade likely right through it and then trade back and forth up here right and that's how you get your trending profiles you know if we look at a trending day like this profile 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 etc right and, and where do you see your low volume node? Right, right in these little areas here, okay? And right in here, okay? Again, market structure, so essential to understand. You gotta understand your market structure. Then you wanna understand your order book and your volume within the market structure, right? Just like we're going through in some of these areas in here, okay? So now up here, did we get the buying we're looking for? Kind of, kind of, still looking for it to unfold. It's more likely to unfold than not. Okay, we just got to find our buyers here. Now, this this should be it, right? Because we're starting to find a little bit of buying. Look at them on the bid. They're pulling on the offer. We should be able to get the move up into 59.60. Okay, there it is to 59. And there's a stop run. I'm still looking for 60. Okay. This is an easier read, much easier read. Okay, once we started to see that buying up here in, the, in that order book right in here in real time, right, that's when we're looking for this move to unfold. Hey, you, you got to be on your toes looking for it, but that's what we're looking for. Okay, and we're just about at 60. One, one, one tick shy of 60. And we should get it here. There they go. Okay, above, above 60. All right, now now we're getting you know who knows now we like we we got we got what we we're looking for. There's going to be a little volatility in here as you guys can see, um, but uh, uh, that was what we we're looking for, and then we reassess at that point. Okay, what's the reaction up into this high liquidity at 60? Okay, we broke out two ticks. How did we break out on low volume on the buy side, and we and we see sellers come in immediately. Okay, so that gives us insight to this area up here. This might be a little harder to break. Okay. Once we start to get up here, we'll read it again. Um, not sure what you mean in here, um, 
how to convert Sierra start chart studies to to book map. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know what you. Uh, I, all right, I like the volume coming in again on the buy side here. Okay, was this is our reassessment? Okay, and still so yeah, we're looking for them to try to break it here. This is not as easy here because of the selling that came in, right? So this is not this is not a give me. Uh, I thought over here we had a give me. This is this one's a little more complex now. Okay, because because of what's happening in here. Okay, buying. Okay, that's good, but there's a lot of selling in here. See, look at how see them see the see the buying in here. Look at that nibble away in this area here. You'll see this in S and P a lot, right? So to have to see just even a two, three tick, or maybe four tick up into sixty one unfold due to this kind of buying in here is is fantastic. You know, you can read it in here, right? And and let's see see how they're still nibbling away at this top edge. Right now, a big seller may come in on the other side and just dump right but due to this kind of activity in here this is our top edge this is why you, you get your p-shaped profiles and you get your your volume on the top right and we're only talking about this range in here very small range okay but because of this it's a three tick range but because of this buying in here and then look below look at the selling below it and then down here there's none right the, the best best bid doesn't even go down there in that range okay a little bit of selling in here we're back up here we're finding buyers again though so you you've got consensus building up in here you've got more and more buyers look at the this is your p-shaped profile with three ticks okay there's a skew look at the order books look at them starting to come in a little more on the bid here they're pulling on the offer in here if we get just a little more in here we should get the break up into 60 Okay, based on exactly this, take a screenshot of that, right? You'll see it again and again and again, right? We're looking for it, and it took its took its time, and then it and then it changed in here. Okay, we, it went up a few ticks, uh, and then this changed in here. This guy lowered his liquidity down uh, to to sixty and a half. Okay, so we got to read and, and reassess with that change that took place in the order flow. If you don't get and if you don't get clarity in your reads, then you step back and you just wait. Okay, again, I'm although we had this lo lower liquidity on the offer here. Look at the buying coming in again. Okay, if we get an, I think one more tick and more buying up here, we got our, we'll get our break. And let's see, there it is. There's 61. Okay, let's see if they can like take it up in 62 and a half or so, maybe 63. Now see how this guy comes in and spoils the party right there. 203 contracts. One one trader's got a hundred lot in there, about something like that. Our large lot tracker shows that. Okay, do we get enough buying pressure to take them on? Yep, we do. All right, we should we should be able to stream higher, back up into 62 and a half, 63. Uh, let's see, a lot of selling at 11 a.m. Is that profit taking? Let's take a look. Yeah, in here, um, probably. Probably. Um, you know, profit taking is, um, you, you, you know, when we look at low volume pullbacks, for example, uh, and this is kind of it, 
you know, you're looking for more volume on the buy side here, and then like although price went back down, it, it went it went back down on very low sell volume. So still overall, there's still more buyers in here, um, and uh, that gives you some insight to the profit taking, because there's there's it's not new selling. They're not trying to move the market. They're not they're not like piling in trying to you know thinking that this is an opportunity to sell. Okay, so you, you'll see a lot less volume on those pullbacks. Okay, and then usually you can you can kind of make an assumption that's some profit taking. Okay, if it's new selling, I mean you, you're gonna see some pretty big sell orders come in. All right, guys. Anyway, so we went through quite a quite a few things in here. We talked about the grinding move on these kinds of days here, uh, which is still playing out. Uh, we were looking for the move we, when we started off. I think it was, the move was up into 50 uh, just to begin with. Uh, yeah, here's 10 o'clock. This is when we started. So we're looking for that move up into 50. Okay, and then after that, we're looking for 54. Uh, 56, 58, and then 60 overall, and 60 has has transacted. Now we were looking at 60 when we were zoomed out, right? Uh, so uh, uh, yeah, you know that was kind of the overall bigger target. Uh, now now look look what's happening in here now, right? Now we still they may take these guys on and trade into them and through them and, and then up into 62 and a half, right? But this is lower liquidity at a lower level here, and what is the reaction to it? Well, did we find buyers? A few. Okay, well, we went lower here. And so the buyers need to take this guy on and trade into and through. And they may. Here they, here they go. They're going to give their shot at it. So again, it's the context of that liquidity and, and, and the reaction to it with the, with the selling in here. So if we had this and big red dots in here, like it's it's repelling the the buyers and you're getting sellers, right? We'd be looking for the move down into 57. Okay, in this case, like eh, we found some sellers, but we're kind of we're finding buyers too. And here they go; they're taking them on at 60. There they go. Again, that was a good question about the profit taking and being able to read and understand the profit taking. Okay, it makes sense. There's some logic to it as well. Like, uh, it's if it's not new selling coming in, or there may be some, but like overall, it's just people exiting their buys. All right. Well, anyway, some good feedback from you guys. Much appreciated. You guys want to look at these lower, much, much lower time frames uh, and, and um, uh, understand it in, uh, uh, in real time and, and the higher time frame stuff. Like, yeah, I mean, we could see a higher time frame move starting to play out right here, potentially. Uh, if we get enough sellers here, we just made a lower high, right? We've got to see sellers down here uh, around, uh, what, 40... 47.58 or so, somewhere around there, uh, and then for them to break and then back down into some of these swings down here. Okay, doesn't look like that's unfolding yet. We're still finding buyers here, still finding buyers. Yeah. Anyway, let's wrap it up. We've been going over an hour, uh, hour and ten minutes or so. Uh, we'll call it a day, and uh, we'll do it again tomorrow. Okay, same uh, same time, same channel. We'll uh, we'll see you then. All right, take care, guys. Bye bye.